What's going on guys? Welcome back to The Forge. I'm Vulcan and today we are taking another look deep, deep, deep inside the Wilson Technical Beta 2. And guys, off the clock, of course the camera wasn't rolling, but we managed to get a unique drop of Gore Maker Shard of the Red Mountain. Look at this beaut. My Lanta. So first off, that just awesome looking uh, icon, fantastic. But then look at everything else, guys. 8 to 12 bleed damage added to attacks, plus 4 rage conversion time, 8 agility, 16% chance to rend on bleed damage. Naturally, it's level 6 when it dropped. Ugh, curse you. But still, I mean, phenomenal that dropped to begin with. And it has this cool, like, pew, pew kind of effect to it. So we're going to take a look. We also got a couple extra spells that got added. So <laughs> fantastic. Uh, we're going to be able to take another look at the mage build and see, you know, where we're sitting. Now that we have a few extra things um, that we're going to be able to play around with, between a healing spell, we have the new Frost Comet um, version. Now, as you know, it's currently in our regular release as well, but this is more along the lines of, you know, what I'm assuming they want to be in the game. Now, something I didn't even call in the last video, guys, and I feel super silly for uh, not even noticing it, but certain gear has, um, I'll say, uh, themes. So look above level one, it says Rogue. And then up here, Bruiser. And then right here, Rogue. And then, uh, where is another one? There was another one I saw that said Sorcerer. Where is, so right there, Sorcerer uh, on the Apollos. So they kind of are doing a little bit of a theme type of thing and making it, I guess, a little bit easier to go, okay, this gear is meant to be for a bruiser. This gear is meant to be for a rogue. You know, and it's giving you a little extra, I'll say, help uh, when it comes to uh, <laughs> trying to gear out your character in Wilson. Because I will say, you know, it wasn't the easiest thing in the world um, to try to figure out. Okay, come on, come on now. You're you're being ridiculous. These uh, <laughs> these sadistic thugs are something else, man. But they're so they're they're bosses. Um, the reason I say that is because every time I kill one, they drop the most gear. And I mean, more power to them. I mean, that's pretty great. You know. So let's go ahead and let's grab some of these things here. We don't need much. Masterwork leather boots. I will definitely go with those. That sounds fantastic. Uh, I'm going to switch my gore maker over to my main hand too. Um, that's something I'm not entirely sure if that carries over. Typical ARPGs, whatever you have in your main hand does full damage. Whatever you have in your off hand typically does uh, a reduced amount of damage or reduced, um, I'll say, abilities, things like that. So by having um, my gore maker in my main hand, I should get the uh, full benefits or the full kind of oomph of that entire weapon. Now, I'm not sure if that happens in Wilson. Um, I haven't uh, done any testing in that category, but um, just to be sure, you know, just in case, you can never be too cautious around these type of things. But I did get that gore maker uh, from a sadistic thug. Um, it was actually right after the last video ended. Um, I shut off and I was like, you know what? I'm still gonna play a little bit. So I jumped back through my portal, killed a sadistic thug, and of course that dropped. And it's like, ah, come on guys. But that's okay. We'll do a little bit of gameplay with this thing, and then we'll jump on and we'll do our uh, our mage build. Now, it's been kind of tough to find actual mage gear. Um, I haven't exactly had the easiest time in the world uh, getting that stuff, but I think we'll be okay. Let's throw our shurikens here, help wipe out some of these ads. Fun fact, always clear the ads first for those of you who uh, haven't I haven't played too many games like this. Um, it's something you should always take care of. Leave the boss last uh, because he's going to be the one that's going to be doing the most damage. But at the same time, you're going to have all of your ads that are going to be just constantly chipping away at you. And if you're not careful enough or you're not taking care of those ads and using good ad management, then you're going to find yourself in a sicky situation where the boss has half health, you have no health, you're trying to get away, but you can't because... You guessed it, the ads are still there and they're still attacking you, uh, typically with ranged abilities. All right, let's jump back in the mix. Boom, here we go. I'm loving that Wings of Ishmir. Now, I know some of you guys are gonna ask, so we're gonna talk about it. Um, how does the game itself run? 
Uh, I will say whew, half and half. Um, and what I mean by that is half the time I'm running at just such a just buttery smooth 60 FPS. And then you'll just get your typical FPS drops out of nowhere that are kind of random. They're not really attached to anything. It's not like, oh, well, you know, you're in a super high volume area. So because of that, you know, you're you're seeing that drop. No, no, it's more like it just drops. And I'll just really chalk up to bad optimization right now. I mean, they're in tech beta too, so why not? Uh, why focus on keeping everything at 60 FPS? when you can focus on the gameplay and things like that. So um, so there's that. But I foresee, I mean, it's running better than it was um, in the, uh, I'll, I'll say non-beta version. I'm just gonna call that open version or test version, early access version. We'll just call it that, early access version. So in the EA version, it's running fine, um, but you know, you're still experiencing uh, FPS drops from here and there, especially when it rains. Um, that's something that I've been seeing. Now, it's not unbearable, right? I mean, it just doesn't run at 60 frames per second uh, all the time. It instead, will run at like you know 35 or you know 40, and bounce up to 60, and bounce back down. So uh, it's just one of those things that you gotta live with. Um, you know, I, I know a few people that they'll have they'll struggle with that a little bit, um, but they just prefer a smooth game, guys. All right, so we're grabbing some gold. Now, I'm, I'm curious what I'm gonna spend all this gold on, to be honest, guys, because there's not really, I mean, there's not really a gold sink in this thing so far. What's up, Raider? Just follow me around, brother. All right, um, yeah, there's not really a gold sink in here, but that's okay, well, well but, I mean, we can find something. Okay, so here's a devourer, so that's cool. Um, he looks fun. We'll see what his deal is. Oh, he's got some chains. That's that's a fun thing that he has there. I'm gonna. Ooh, what was that? Devourer, back down. <clears throat> Get out. Just accept your fate. There we go. <laughs> Reminds me of, like patchwork or something. Uh, where is? I'm gonna quit picking up these damn gems, man. So that's one thing that's kind of interesting. They didn't they didn't provide a um, a stash in Tech Beta Two. I was gonna go stash all these uh, gems to make more room, and there's nothing. So I'm gonna quit picking them up, and uh, we'll pick them up as we need them. I guess it's not like they're ultra rare or anything. So all right. So what did you guys think of the last video? Um, let's definitely talk about that. You know, and how. How does this one compare and all that? We're gonna kill this thug and then I'll switch over and we'll do some we'll do some magic. It's magic, you know. Come on now. Whoa, hey, 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 hey. That was interesting. I like got stunned or something. Okay. See that's what I'm talking about. The sadistic thugs, man. They uh they bring the noise when it comes to dropping gear. I mean, they're, they're the ones you want to target. Um, cloth, yeah, definitely want that. Glove, probably. Just anything, really, that gives me some damn sorcerer stuff. Okay, so let's switch over to our sorcerer build. I'm going to go just straight up sorcery. And we'll see what we're working with here. Just straight up. Uh, get rid of these things. Okay, got the staff. Um, 24 sorcerer there. Um, uh, yeah, get rid of those. Come on now, get out of here, you husk. How are we, how are we, how are we feeling on this one? Wisdom, yep, pretty okay. Uh, there we go. Um, get rid of this dagger. I don't need that. All right. Got plus health. That's fine. Get rid of that. Don't need it. Okay. Well, here we go, guys. Let's uh, let's see how this plays out. It looks like we have some stuff that we can choose. Um, okay. Vanguard of the Morning Star. 
Um, areas not starting at the cursor location, increased duration. I'm gonna go with duration, that sounds just wonderful. This is the new Annihilation Beam, pierces enemies, increase the number of ticks. Ooh, that's tough, that is a tough one. I'm gonna go with, ooh, pierces. Pierces is gonna be good. I'm gonna drop that down here. This is gonna go here. We have another one? No. Um, these ones reduce willpower. Yeah. Oh, that's what that's what the change is. I was sitting there thinking, I was like, that sounds so weird to say. It's not umber anymore, it's willpower now. They just straight up just call it willpower cost. Okay, that's gonna be a lot less confusing for most people. God man, I didn't I was not picking that up at all. At all. Okay, so let's kind of go through what we're working with here. Um, I forgot we need to throw this on our bars. I'm going to put that there. And this can go to number six. Uh, well, actually, hang tight. I'm going to put this here. And then we can move this to number three. All right, so we got our typical lightning fingers. We got our annihilation beam. Which our annihilation beam looks something like that. We have, obviously, our Frost AoE, which looks a little something like that. Uh, lightning, something like that. Then we have, this is a new ability, guys. Bulwark of Dawn. Bless an area around you with the Light of Dawn. It heals you over time while you're standing in it. So like this. And this gives you a nice little heal over time. Uh, circle, bubble. And then we have our Frost Comet, like so. Um, which seems to have lost a lot of its... Um, it's not really a big old like comet anymore. Now it's more of just like a, a little guy. You know, he's just he's just trying to trying to see what's what. Okay, so I guess we'll just go straight willpower and we'll see what we're working with here. Okay, cool. Well, let's uh let's get in the mix, guys. Um, uh, annihilation beam is looking decent. How's this looking? That's looking pretty good. Okay. I think it's looking a lot better than it was, let's put it that way. Okay, so the frost comet thing is definitely super nice uh, compared to what it used to be. Uh, once again, willpower straight up just losing it. Ooh, that is. This guy is fun, actually. I really like this dude okay so frost comet is finally doing some significant damage well it's called like tears of aerial or aetherial or whatever it is now but it's actually doing some like you know some <laughs> some some damage which is good our annihilation beam here start dropping some of those bombs down top make sure we heal so we don't die okay there we go Cool, okay. okay, 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 I like that. I like that. I can, uh, I can get behind that. Give me this bow. I don't need that masterwork studded to pull it. Um, wow, Annihilation Beam. So that used to be the Gaze of Atma, and, um, <laughs> I gotta say, that, that ability was not the greatest. Um, I never really got behind that, that one. Um, but I think now when it's, I'll say it's new reincarnated form, it's actually pretty decent. Um, but I'm just super impressed with this uh, Tears of Aetheril thing. Cause I mean, it's super fun just to kind of drop those down like this. I mean, yeah, it doesn't have the, you know, like meteorite smashing into the earth, ice meteorite anymore. But at the same time, it's like, all right, well, you know, it is what it is. You can uh, drop like three or four of those things and, you know, cause some significant damage. See, like so. So I'm down with it. All right. Frost Mage might actually um, give you a run for your money now. So I'm, I'm willing to give it a chance. Let's see. Let's see. Let's just use just pure straight up. Okay, so we uh, we managed to take out a couple enemies here. Let me use my Death Beam here. Hey, Omega Swirl or whatever your name is. Okay, so we got a Sadistic Thug. This is going to be our test. Okay, so freeze him, just like that. Hit him with some of these, which pretty much did nothing. Um, hit him with some more of that, some juice, there we go. 
jump in my little circle here. I like, I love the healing circle. That's, that's really good. I like that ad. Um, freeze. Good, good, good. Get away. Uh, don't have anything. Lightning fingers. Ooh, lightning fingers burns super quick. Don't have enough stamina, so I can't bounce anymore. But that's okay, he's dead. Okay. Don't need any of that stuff. Well, I'll probably pick up these interacts so I can level up. I think that'll be good. Don't need the medium health potions. Don't need anything crazy. Here's another trapper. He's doing his thing. These screechers. God, that that annihilation looked like the uh, the purple beam for unique, and it really threw me off. I was like, oh, we got another one. But we did not, guys. We did not. But the quest continues. We have seen them. They are real. It does happen. Hopefully, I don't, I'd like to get in there and mess with them a little bit more. So maybe we can have like a increased chance or something like that. That'd be pretty cool. No dice here. Oh, okay. Looks like we got some friends down here just doing things. Okay. So, here's my here's my synopsis on this one, guys. I'm going to spend a lot of my time trying to get uh, a bunch of um, mage gear because I really want to see these new mage abilities. And I think I can't, there we go. I'm trying to freeze that guy. I can't, uh, I can't see these things being like bad. Like they've just been super good so far. Um, and I just need some more gear. And I think we'll be in such a good spot. That was interesting. I couldn't, okay, okay. Can I freeze this guy? There we go. Yeah, I think having having the appropriate mage gear is going to be huge, um, especially during the beta. If we could, no inventory. To, I mean, you can just lie all the time. Um, I'm gonna start dropping some of this stuff. I don't need a lot of these these gems. Don't need those. Give me this dark iron pistol because I do want to mess with the pistol a little bit down the road. All right. Nothing there, just more gold. A lot of gold. I don't think I've ever seen this much gold. Sadistic thugs, man. These guys are all over the place. So I am experiencing a little teeny bit of rubber banding right now, which is probably the online aspect um, and them trying to get their servers figured out. So that is something that I am seeing right now. Die. Laser beam of death. Of course. Yes. We got a unique. We got a unique, guys. We got a unique on camera this time. Sagar Marius. What are you? Oh, it's a ring. Okay. Okay. Sagar Marius. Uh, one to six toxic damage added to attacks. Percent agility plus 20% poison chance on toxic damage. Ooh. Three attack speed. That is gonna be nasty with this dagger. Ooh, my Atlanta. That is gonna be so good. I'm gonna go ahead and equip that sucker. Nice. Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be a good oh, that's gonna be a good build. I'm pretty excited. We might actually get to jump in there and do an assassin build. Um and mm, God, I wish they had passive trees opened up. I'm just going through and imagining all of the cool stuff that we should be uh, using those uniques for. All right, help me out here. These guys, there we go. Okay, okay. This devourer is kind of cool. I like, uh, I like fighting against these guys. I feel like they just have like such a cool like tool set. Okay. Get off me, man. Health globe. There's another thug. Maybe we can get another unique out of this guy. Oh, it's so cool. That's just so much damage. I love it. 
I'm really enjoying the Frost Mage, guys. Like I am. Like it's, it just, it feels good. It, feel, it feels good finally. Um, when I was messing with it last time, I felt like you just weren't getting the, you know, the value out of um, per uh, Umbra or willpower now points spent. I felt like you just weren't weren't capitalizing and weren't getting that. You know, you're spending so much Umbra to do such little damage, basically. Uh, tribal staff. Okay. I'm down. What, 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 do we, what do we got here? Uh, 15 to 19. Uh, heck yeah. Um, got some fire stuff. Let's see. So it looks like... What is it? Staff blasts. So... Is this shooting fire? I mean, because all this stuff looks almost almost similar. And I don't know if that's just, you know, tech beta or what, but okay. Sir, please get off me. Thank you. I don't know if that's the tech beta or what, but um, the staff abilities look fairly similar. This is kind of like the a magic blast. Um, not really anything like, I guess. You know how, like, the other ones have, like, electricity and things like that? Can we move me, please? I'm, like, dying here. Um, these ones don't, they just kind of, you know, it's light. Yay. So I don't know. If, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's, oh, I, I wanted to keep that. That was a, uh, that was really cool. I liked, I liked that system. All right. Went ahead and just burn, burned all that willpower. Uh, pretty great. Slam this into the old ground here. Stand in the poison. Uh, it's pretty good for you. Cool, cool, cool. Yellow shield, chip diamonds and stuff. I'm gonna head this way this time. Last time I took a left or a right. Then again, last time I went right, it led to a unique, so. I don't know, I'm not superstitious. We'll go this way. We'll go this way, we'll, we'll Lewis and Clark this thing. I mean, we gotta, okay, sadistic. We gotta figure something out eventually, so. Let's just Lewis and Clark go to the go to the edge, man. Explore everything, leave nothing. Wow, that put out some serious damage. Okay, whirlwind. Okay, apparently my whirlwind didn't freeze him. Okay, this one, this one, that one, that one. Don't need anything else. All right, go ahead and crack that. Oh. Come on now. There we go. Okay, guys. Well, we're going to go ahead and we're going to wrap this one up after we get to the end of this little road. But let's get the conversation going anyway. So we got a, a unique drop. We've seen two uniques so far. And in your mind, one, are those uniques unique enough? Or do you think we need to see something with a little bit more oomph related to it? A little less, uh, I'll say, passive and a little more active. Um, I can see that being something. I'm getting my ass just handed to me right now. Whoa, goodness gracious. Okay. Hold on, guys. Before we start the conversation, I'm going to try not to die. Um, so, jeez. Goodness gracious. This guy is... He's got my number, folks. There we go. Oh my goodness, we got another unique, guys. Okay, so they must have upped the um, drop chance for those in the game. Oh, it is. Is that a Vulcan steel sword? It sure is a Vulcan steel sword. Wow, that looks fucking awesome. Um, excuse my language, but so okay, guys. Well, first off, let's equip this. Oh, that looks so cool. Um, that is badass looking. All right, let's go back to town. Let's let's head back to town uh, before I freak out, and um, then let's chat about what we're seeing. So, you know, speak of the devil, right? We we're just talking about whether uniques were unique enough um, in their abilities, things like that. So, let's chat about it. So, here's what we got. I'm dual wielding uniques. I have three uniques on my character right now. These are the top notch, right? These are the cream of the crop. I mean, oranges are great, but uniques are where it's at. These are literally like the greatest. 
Interesting, I can't move my camera with my arrow keys. Strange. Oh well. Um, so as you can see, we got the sword here, which is like such a cool like molten lava. It's called a Vulcan sword. Uh, hell yeah, go team. And then we have the Gore Maker dagger. So first off, do you guys think that these abilities are unique enough? Six to nine fire, plus nine physical damage, plus seven fire damage, rage conservation time, ferocity. Um, it's a medium sword pumping out 10 to 13 damage. And that's what it is. Then we also have Gore Maker, Shard of the Red Mountain, which has Ren Chance, bleed damage, it's, its whole thing's kind of around bleeds, and it has this nice little lore bit at the bottom. And then we have uh, Sagarnaris, uh, or Sagarnaris, depending on uh, the accent over the egg. One to six toxic damage, 20% poison chance on toxic damage, attack speed, agility. So first off, this is gonna be a nasty combo. But secondly, you know, really kind of tearing this down, do you guys think these are unique enough? Me, I would much rather, I like the stats, but I think on top of the stats, they need to have a unique ability. If these things are dropping and these things are as rare as, I mean, in the other in the other version, I haven't seen a single one of these drop. A single one of these drop. And I've locked, I've clocked so many hours. So they truly are very, very unique. Um, but I would like to see a an ability. Like I would like to see the Vulcan Steel Sword. Like if you hit an enemy, um, you have a chance to you know, incinerate their corpse and cause them to explode, uh, dealing AOE fire damage, um, or like lava globs that would explode out of that body, hitting other, you know, enemies. Something like that. I would like to see something like that. And maybe they're going to do something, but right now this seems a little lackluster to me. But I want to hear what you guys have to say. So let's drop a comment below. Let's get talking about some uniques, guys. We saw two of those suckers drop within a 27-minute time period. Go team. Let's chat about it. I'm pumped. Whew. This has been Vulcan. And I'm getting out of here, guys. I'm so, I need to go calm down.